when you're fishing a shoreline, going down a bank fishing, like we all do, I do it also, do it a lot. You know, I fish out in the middle a lot, but I do it a lot. What should you do frequently that'll help you catch more fish? Good morning, guys and girls. May 15, May 15, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians, reading from a Catch Our Better Life book on the Catch of the Day channel. Listen to me. If you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, hit that subscribe button right now. If you are subscribed, get one or two of your buddies to subscribe. We've got 20,000 people on this channel now, and that's a small channel. Our other channel, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, has got 117,000 or so. That's a small channel, I know, but it's the best channel, the most important channel, maybe not the best, but the most important channel on YouTube because it will cause you to have a better life. When you start out today with God's Word, a scripture, just one scripture, and then you have a devotional built around fishing, then you have a fishing tip, you're going to be a better person and you're going to be a better fisherman. Here's our scripture for today, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you, for me, for you. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus in you. It's really easy for a Christian to give thanks to God during the good times. I mean, oh, buddy, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Even non-Christians do that. This is especially true for many, maybe most, tournament fishermen. They stand on the stage, and they thank everyone. I mean, they thank everyone. Mostly they thank their sponsors, but they do usually include God and their family, the most important of all, God and their family. But how about the bad times? How about the terrible tournaments? How about when you lose a sponsor? How about thanking God when you lose a sponsor? How about breakdowns? How about having a breakdown out there? How about uh, something happening, you, you hit, a low, hit a stump or something, break your lower unit, and you can't get back to the weigh-in, you're zero for the day, and uh, you lose $10,000 or $20,000 or maybe $100,000. Maybe it costs you first place. Can I tell you, I've been there. It, it feels like a kick in the head. It feels terrible. Do, do we praise God during those breakdowns? How about sicknesses and illnesses? How about that? How about total failure? How about whatever we're doing, just absolutely bombing out, whether it's a tournament or whatever, we just absolutely bomb out. We feel like we're a total failure. You ever felt that way? You feel like praising God then? I believe that these are the times that we need to thank God the most. That's right. We need to thank God the most during the hard times because thanking God is one of the ways that we fire ourselves up and get through difficulty and whatever caused that difficulty. When we start praising God, we're changing our focus from the problem to the problem solver. That's right. We're changing what we are focusing on. Not anymore. Woe is me. What a bad break. I can't believe I did that. How stupid can I be? We focus on the problem solver. We don't focus on the problem. We've got so many things to thank God for that the bad will begin to become less important. And maybe more importantly, you are doing the will of God. Do you hear what I said? It's what it says right here. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. So you're doing the will of God. You're doing the will of God. And when you're doing that, can I tell you, I know victory is on the way. When you are doing the will of God, when I am doing the will of God, victory is just around the corner. It's going to chase us down and overtake us. Here's our tip for today. When fishing the shoreline, turn around frequently and make casts behind you. That's right. We're going down there fishing the shoreline, throwing at stumps and rocks and bushes, throwing a crankbait in there, wind it back. Turn around every now and then and make a few casts out in the middle. Make a few casts behind you. I've heard it said 10% of the fish are on the bank, 90% are right behind where you got the boat. I'm not sure I agree with those odds. I do catch a lot of fish in the middle of the lake, but I also catch a lot up on the bank. Just every now and then, turn around and throw out in the middle of the lake. I've had co-anglers do it a lot, especially if I'm fishing some sort of structure where I'm being, I can see the structure and I can hit every single piece of structure. Usually if there's a bass there, most likely I'm going to catch it. And so they just turn around and throw it out in the middle of the lake. It's a bad time to be a co-angler. Got to tell you, many times those guys catch more than I do. So, 
So frequently, when you're going down fishing the shoreline, just turn out and make a few casts out in the middle. Doesn't matter what you're throwing. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.